On a wet evening, a couple of hundred people have gathered at Nutgrove to take part in a protest against the racist attacks that happened here earlier this week. That's what we want to say. Abdul and his brothers are here today. They decided to come out and say a few words. Welcome them and send them a message of solidarity. Abdul, would you like to say a few words? Thank you for coming, everyone. I love Ireland and I love the people. And I like everyone, like all the Ireland and all the area. And I can't believe like there are so many people here. Like they're coming for sport. Okay? And when I see those people again, I would like to buy them a pen or pencil to do education, like and tell them to do sport, especially like cricket and football. That's all I can say. Thank you. The protest continued in the rain for about an hour. As you can see, a couple of hundred turned up. You may have heard her speaking before. She's a wonderful speaker. Eileen will say a few words. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Eileen Flynn. Um, actually, uh, just hearing the lads speak about how, I just know how they love Ireland and it's such a great place. Right now, today, I'm ashamed to say I'm Irish. I am so ashamed to say that I'm, I'm an Irish citizen and for this to happen in, in my state, but it didn't happen in my name. Not as a traveller, not, not as an Irish citizen. This did not, this not happen in my name. It didn't happen in anybody's name here. So, I think like, when we look at racism, racism is racism. Nobody should be hated because of the colour of their skin, because of their religion, because of their background. We can't help the way we're born. And we should all be respected for who we are as individuals and our cultures and our religion should all be respected. Just to say, like, when we look at the 1916 rise and everything is about freedom, when I look at these three lads and I hear these three lads' stories of running from fear, coming to Ireland for safe, and for this to happen is actually making me very very sad very emotional as someone who believes in human rights and equality for these three innocent lads that's in school to be attacked because of the color of their skin this is not acceptable and us as Irish people anytime we see an act or an activity like this we all should stand together like we are today roar loud and proud and say not in our name racism not in our name not today in Ireland it shouldn't be acceptable and as Shane O'Corey was saying I'm also involved in the Love Not Hate campaign and basically hate crime. This was a hate crime. Is these, whoever did this, are these people being evicted from this? Is it seen as a hate crime or is it seen as antisocial behaviour? I'm going to go the whole way and say it's a hate crime and these people should be prosecuted from a hate crime and nobody should have to experience what these, two, uh, these three lads went through. So. After me, I'd like people to repeat, if you mean it, say it loud and clear, racism, not in our name, right? Racism, racism not in our name! Thanks very much. What do we say? Racism. What do we say? Racism. And what better man than Sheikh Kumar from Irish Muslim Peace Council and the Blanchistan Islamic Cultural Centre. He's going to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. I greet you with the Islamic greeting of peace. If you know the reply, please reply loudly. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you all. What happened last week, Thursday, with these three gentlemen does not represent the Irish nation, does not in any way represent the Irish, and does not represent Ireland. Those perpetrators only represent criminality. They only represent extremism. And the family has made it very clear yesterday when I visited them with Shane from Enar that they do not blame the Irish people or the Irish nation for it. Their experience has been like the experience of the vast majority of immigrants, vast majority of Muslims in this country. Very, very positive because this country is a country of Cade Mila Falcha. It's a country. It's a country of hundreds of thousands of welcomes, and we have been welcomed here. However, any incident, even if there is one incident, it's too many. And we have to be united. We have to be united against this form of extremism. These gentlemen fled Afghanistan because they wanted a safer home, a safer future. Unfortunately, last week Thursday, since last week Thursday, they don't feel safe here anymore. 
In fact, they don't go to school anymore because of that. They feel so much threatened that they are not going to school. This is happening in Dublin, in Ireland. It is unacceptable. And therefore, thank you so much for all of you. Thank you to the media that is here. Thank you for the media that has been highlighting this case because people need to know about these isolated incidents, lone wolf attacks, that they do happen and they should not happen anymore. And thank you for that. Now, lastly, before I end here, most of you will probably know I am very much involved in speaking against extremism. I've spoken against Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Boko Haram, radicalization. However, this is also a kind of extremism that has happened last week. Therefore, we must remain united. We must have a collective approach to this particular phenomenon. Now, those people, whoever they were, the Guardi are investigating. We have our trust and confidence in them. But we really want them to, to make this a case that is an example for the... It's been great to see such a strong community response to these racist attacks this evening. Reporting for Solidarity Times.